Massachusetts CDL Tanker Vehicles Test. Question 1. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Use only the emergency brakes. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 2. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Air to fuel ratio Distribution of weight Water content Answer Distribution of weight Question 3. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called Barriers Baffles Bulkheads Answer Baffles Question 4. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge Front to back Side to side Top to bottom Answer Side to side Question 5. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Uneven expansion. Extreme weight. Liquid movement. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 6. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 7. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The truck will roll over. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. Answer you will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 8. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Extreme weight. Uneven expansion. Liquid movement. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 9. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The legal weight limits. The amount the liquid will expand in transit. Both of the above factors. Answer. Both of the above factors. Question 10. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. 
answer. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 11. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Answer Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Question 12. How would you expect the truck with the cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will seem heavier than it really is. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Answer there will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 13. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 14 An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use control door stab braking. Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 15. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less side-to-side -side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Answer There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Question 16 Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason s. Liquid movement High center of gravity Both of these answers are correct. Answer Both of these answers are correct. Question 17. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it, speed up slightly, downshift twice, brake lightly. Answer Speed up slightly. Question 18. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Answer Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Question 19. Liquid tight separators between compartments inside tanks are called Barriers Bulkheads Baffles Answer Bulkheads
Question 20. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Uneven expansion. Liquid movement. Extreme weight. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 21. Altage means. How fast the liquid tanks drain. Liquid weight. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Answer. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Question 22. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. Answer. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 23. You are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within. The distance you can see ahead. The distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds. The length of your vehicle. Answer. The distance you can see ahead. Question 24. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The legal weight limits The amount the liquid will expand in transit Both of the above factors Answer Both of the above factors Question 25. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Use only the emergency brakes. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Answer. Use only the emergency brakes. Question 26. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. Surge lets you turn corners tighter. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Answer. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 27. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less side-to-side -side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Answer There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Question 28. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Answer Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Question 29. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Always, only if the tank has baffles. 
Never. Answer. Always. Question 30. Altage means. Liquid weight. Allowance for expansion of liquid. How fast the liquid tanks drain. Answer. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Question 31. Empty trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Answer. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 32. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. Both of these answers are correct. High center of gravity. Liquid movement. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 33. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. The truck will roll over. Answer. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 34. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Distribution of weight Air to fuel ratio Water content Answer. Distribution of weight. Question 35. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Front to back. Top to bottom. Side to side. Answer. Side to side. Question 36. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are starting or stopping, loading and unloading, hauling milk or other food products. Answer. Starting or stopping. Question 37. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be less side-to-side -side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Answer. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Question 38. Side-to-side -side surge can cause. Overspeeding. A rollover. Suspension system failure. Answer. A rollover. Question 39. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. Both of these answers are correct. Liquid movement. 
high center of gravity. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 40. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use control door stab braking. Use only the emergency brakes. Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 41. You should be very cautious when driving smooth port tankers, especially when you are driving against the wind, starting or stopping, going uphill or downhill. Answer. Starting or stopping. Question 42. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Some liquids expend more than others when they get warm. Answer Some liquids expend more than others when they get warm. Question 43. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called? Bulkheads Baffles Barriers Answer Baffles Question 44. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Distribution of weight Air to fuel ratio Water content Answer Distribution of weight Question 45. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Liquid movement. Extreme weight. Uneven expansion. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 46. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. Answer there will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 47. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Air to fuel ratio Distribution of weight Water content Answer Distribution of weight Question 48. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are Hauling milk or other food products Loading and unloading Starting or stopping Answer Starting or stopping Question 49. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? 
liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. The truck will roll over. Answer You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 50. Empty trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Answer. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 51. Side-to-side -side surge can cause Suspension system failure A rollover Overspeeding Answer A rollover Question 52. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 53. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Front to back. Side to side. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 54. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Use only the emergency brakes. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 55. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less side-to-side -side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Answer. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Question 56. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve. Then, as you go through it, Brake lightly. Speed up slightly. Downshift twice. Answer. Speed up slightly. Question 57. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will seem heavier than it really is. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Answer There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 58. Side-to-side -side surge can cause A rollover Suspension system failure. Overspeeding. 
Answer. A rollover. Question 59. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on the legal weight limits. The amount the liquid will expand in transit. Both of the above factors. Answer. Both of the above factors. Question 60. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. High center of gravity. Liquid movement. Both of these answers are correct. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 61. Side to side surge can cause a rollover, overspeeding, suspension system failure. Answer A rollover. Question 62. You should be very cautious when driving smooth port tankers. Especially when you are going uphill or downhill, driving against the wind, starting or stopping. Answer Starting or stopping. Question 63 Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? A tanker is easier to counter-steer than most vehicles. Use only the emergency brakes. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 64. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Extreme weight. Uneven expansion. Liquid movement. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 65. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Only if the tank has baffles. Never. Always. Answer. Always. Question 66. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Water content Air to fuel ratio Distribution of weight Answer Distribution of weight Question 67 the liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Side to side. Front to back. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 68. And emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use control door stab braking Use only the emergency brakes Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there Answer Use control door stab braking Question 69 Separators with openings or holes in them, 
that are between compartments in a tank are called barriers, baffles, bulkheads. Answer. Baffles. Question 70. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. Liquid movement. Both of these answers are correct. High center of gravity. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 71. You are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within. The length of your vehicle. The distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds. The distance you can see ahead. Answer. The distance you can see ahead. Question 72. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. There will be less side to side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. Answer There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. Question 73 The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The legal weight limits. The amount the liquid will expend in transit. Both of the above factors. Answer. Both of the above factors. Question 74. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Only if the tank has baffles. Never. Always. Answer. Always. Question 75. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Front to back. Side to side. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 76. Liquid tight separators between compartments inside tanks are called bulkheads, baffles, barriers. Answer. Bulkheads. Question 77. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be less side-to-side -side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Answer. There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. Question 78. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Water content Air to fuel ratio Distribution of weight Answer Distribution of weight. Question 79. 
Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 80. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. Answer There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 81. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Air to fuel ratio Distribution of weight Water content Answer Distribution of weight Question 82. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Answer Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Question 83. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. The truck will roll over. Answer you will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 84. Liquid tight separators between compartments inside tanks are called Barriers Baffles Bulkheads Answer Bulkheads. Question 85. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will seem heavier than it really is. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. Answer There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 86. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The amount the liquid will expand in transit. The legal weight limits. Both of the above factors. Answer Both of the above factors Question 87. You are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within The length of your vehicle The distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds the distance you can see ahead. Answer The distance you can see ahead.
Question 88. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 89 You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are hauling milk or other food products, starting or stopping, loading and unloading. Answer Starting or stopping. Question 90. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. Liquid movement. Both of these answers are correct. High center of gravity. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 91. Liquid tide separators between compartments inside tanks are called Barriers Baffles Bulkheads Answer Bulkheads Question 92. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Front to back. Top to bottom. Side to side. Answer. Side to side. Question 93. Separators with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called Barriers Baffles Bulkheads Answer Baffles Question 94. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 95. You are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within the length of your vehicle. The distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds. The distance you can see ahead. Answer. The distance you can see ahead. Question 96. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. Both of these answers are correct. High center of gravity. Liquid movement. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 97. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Use only the emergency brakes. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Answer 
use only the emergency brakes. Question 98. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Distribution of weight Water content Air to fuel ratio Answer Distribution of weight Question 99. Liquid tide separators between compartments inside tanks are called Bulkheads Barriers Baffles Answer Bulkheads Question 100. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Answer Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Question 101. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 102. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Liquid movement. Uneven expansion. Extreme weight. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 103. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Top to bottom, side to side, front to back. Answer Side to side. Question 104. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The legal weight limits The amount the liquid will expand in transit Both of the above factors Answer Both of the above factors Question 105 when you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Distribution of weight Air to fuel ratio Water content Answer Distribution of weight Question 106 which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 107. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. 
Answer. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 108. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are starting or stopping, hauling milk or other food products, loading and unloading. Answer. Starting or stopping. Question 109. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. The truck will roll over. Answer. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 110. You should be very cautious when driving smooth bore tankers, especially when you are going uphill or downhill. Starting or stopping. Driving against the wind. Answer. Starting or stopping. Question 111. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Never. Only if the tank has baffles. Always. Answer. Always. Question 112. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Never. Only if the tank has baffles. Always. Answer. Always. Question 113. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Distribution of weight Water content Air to fuel ratio Answer Distribution of weight. Question 114. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? Use only the emergency brakes. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Answer. Use only the emergency brakes. Question 115. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. There will be less side-to-side -side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. Answer. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Question 116. Side-to-side -side surge can cause. Suspension system failure. Overspeeding. A rollover. Answer. A rollover. Question 117. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Extreme weight. 
liquid movement, uneven expansion. Answer Liquid movement. Question 118. You should be very cautious when driving smooth bore tankers, especially when you are driving against the wind, going uphill or downhill, starting or stopping. Answer Starting or stopping. Question 119. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The legal weight limits The amount the liquid will expand in transit Both of the above factors Answer Both of the above factors Question 120. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it, brake lightly, downshift twice, speed up slightly. Answer Speed up slightly. Question 121. Empty trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Answer. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 122. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use only the emergency brakes. Use control door stab braking. Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 123. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Liquid movement. Extreme weight. Uneven expansion. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 124. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. The truck will roll over. Answer you will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 125. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. Answer There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 126 When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Air to fuel ratio Water content Distribution of weight 
Answer. Distribution of weight. Question 127. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Front to back. Side to side. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.